Rebecca. Steely Dan, Steely Dan, I should say. Try and get that right with uh, A19. News of other roads now with Richie Anderson. BBC Radio. Thank you so much, Ken. We're going to start in the northeast of England then. The A1 Western Bypass, the north. Got a lane out between 74, that's for Newcastle City Centre, and 75. I went to La Scala in Milan with Bella. We had cheap seats near the top and all up. So, say for instance, I will have the best that rugby isn't taught. Hey, great wife for she me. would be a great wife for you. Yeah, yeah mum would love her as well. Yeah, great wife for you. And avoid. You, Ricky. <laughs> no, you're not allowed to say Ricky. You can't use myself. Or you can't say Ricky or Charlie. No. Oh, okay. Um, avoid. Who could I avoid? Everyone's so lovely at Radio One. Uh, I'm just going to say someone. I don't. I hardly see this person. So Benji B. Benji B. Oh, you won't mind that. I love Benji. Yeah, we used to work on Benji's show, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, I'll never see him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well right. done, Mel. All right, so last, last one. question. Okay, this is for you, Charlie. Let me tell you what I'll be peddling next hour. Pavarotti will be here with, well, what else? Natalie Klein with a Haydn cello concerto and a mambo. Too early for popcorn. Take it away, Charles. Gosh, do you know what? The joke of it is, I mean, I could lose my job, so I've got to be very careful here. Um... And to help close the employment gap for disabled people. So we're going to talk about that uh, after 11. We're also going to talk about John Lewis as well. The news on the way uh, with Gabby. We get there with Take That here at BBC Radio. Yeah, keep your uh, with snow forecast for some high ground in the next few days, we're going to experience the silence of a snowy scene through the imagination of Takashi Yoshimatsu, who knows those scenes well at home in Japan. And I have the pianist Igor Levitt. Um, on sparkling form in Beethoven's music before the morning is out. Now, this is a composer who may be new to you. He writes some very interesting music. He's the Swiss composer, Richard Dubonion. We all know I should be the one to say We all make mistakes Take my hand and hold I am outside myself and, yeah, buried in the music. I have never expressed this before. I understand why it was not possible for you to enjoy the CD of Madame Butterfly, hearing it in fragments with distractions. You need to discover it first.
tailor-made solutions that work especially for you. How to pressure for longer. Connected wine coolers that preserve and enhance your favorite wines. Controlled via the Hon app. And washing machines that use advanced technology to deliver professionally laundered clothes. Visit hire-europe.com to experience the difference today. Stay with Classic FM for the latest news. Next. Avi's online security business has landed a big new client who needs a lot more attention. How can we put a top-class security team in place quickly? It's time to hire. We need Indeed. Indeed you do. Indeed delivers quality candidates so you can focus on hiring the person you need to help your business grow. That's why more than 250,000 businesses in the UK use Indeed. Visit indeed.com forward slash try today and start finding your next great employee. That's indeed.com slash try today. On your radio. On global player. And on your smart speaker. Play Classic FM. This is Classic FM. From Global's newsroom at 11 o'clock. Hospitality groups say asking pub customers to provide proof that they've been vaccinated against COVID-19 is simply unworkable. The Prime Minister has suggested it could be up to individual landlords whether they have the requirement. John Corbett, the landlord of the Rose and Crown in West London. We've had to jump through hoops. Uh, everything we've had to do to be COVID secure or maybe than any other industry that I know of. And to suddenly plant this on top of us, I think, is, a, is, is an injustice for us. And it's going to be pretty much impossible to police. Cabinet Office Minister Michael Gove is currently reviewing the possible use of coronavirus status certificates as part of plans to ease England's lockdown. Johnny Depp has been told he can't appeal against a court ruling which said he'd assaulted his ex-wife, Amber Heard. It follows a heavily publicised libel case which the actor lost against The Sun after the newspaper called him a wife beater. Our entertainment editor Charlie Gerling says it's expected to impact on the actor's future roles. He had some incredibly you know, adamant supporters that turned up every day during the trial last year that were campaigning outside court for him. But obviously this is going to have a, a catastrophic effect on his career. He was part of one of the biggest and most lucrative film franchises of all time in Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean. He was going to be playing one of the major roles in the Harry Potter prequels. Warner Brothers removed him from that last year. David Cameron is being investigated by the lobbying watchdog following claims he tried to persuade government figures to grant loans to a financial firm he worked for. The former Prime Minister reportedly sent a number of texts to the Chancellor's private phone asking for support for Greensill Capital. Mr Cameron's office has not commented on the investigation. Police are investigating reports of a plane crash in Cornwall. Devon and Cornwall Police says emergency services have been called to the scene at St Martin's in Helston. The public are being asked to avoid the area. Michael Sheen will take to the stage at the National Theatre when it reopens in June. The actor will star in a production of Under Milkwood by Dylan Thomas in the Olivier Theatre with socially distanced seating. The show will bring audiences back to the South Bank for the first time since closing last December. In the city a short time ago, the FTSE 100 was trading at 66.94. That's down 18 points. The pound buys one euro 16 and one dollar 37. The weather scattered showers in the south with sunny spells too. Showers heavier towards the northwest with possible hail and thunder. Many eastern areas staying fine and dry. A high of 14 Celsius. From Global's newsroom, I'm Holly Harris. This is Classic FM. From Global. Well, Thursday's growing into a fine figure of a day. Still a mere child, of course. It'll be Alid who has to deal with its teenage phase. My job is just to see it knows its times tables and to supply biscuits. I'm Alexander Armstrong and this is a Jammy Dodger. The world's greatest music. Classic FM.
come and punch us because we are whole